In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best money plays in all of Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, we're in the West Coast Playbook today. We're going to be taking a look at the Gun Bunch offense. We all know how good Bunch is. We're going to be talking about a very unique play that's only found in West Coast, though, and why I believe that West Coast is one of the best Bunch playbooks in the game. Now, if you want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of our Madden ebooks. We have over 20 ebooks in our Patreon as of today so if you want to become a member you'll get access to all of those so if you want to sign up the link is down in the description all right guys so i want to show you one of my favorite plays in the entire game and the play is deep attack and what we want to do is we're going to essentially um flood the short side of the field so we want our bunch to be ran to the short side of the field it's going to allow us to be able to easily beat every zone in the game now deep attack is very simple you don't have to have a bunch of abilities whatsoever. I recommend set feet lead for your quarterback, but you really don't need anything else. Now our setup here is really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna streak our point man or our slot receiver here, Randall Cobb. We're going to drag our tight end and we're going to slant our outside bunch receiver and motion him uh, to the right a step or two. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna create a very simple read progression for the quarterback. The number one route on the field is surely this post route over the middle of the field. It's the best route in the formation. I think it's probably the best route in the game this year for breaking down literally every zone coverage. And if you have a good enough receiver, this will also break down man coverage. So we just showed you cover four. Now I'm gonna show you cover three. And you're gonna see it's very similar, pretty much almost exactly identical reads. And this is gonna get wide open over the middle of the field. Now the beauty of cover two is, the way cover two works in this game, I will say, um, I'm gonna show it first with a deep blue and then we'll talk a little bit about the mid read. So um, what you're gonna see here is if we run this setup right here, this post, uh, same kind of thing. The slot is gonna clear out all deep zones. He's gonna come underneath it. And actually there we were actually played better than we normally are. Um, but just saying, this is, this is one of the best routes in the game for really anything that's not a mid read. Now, I will talk about how to attack the mid read here in just a second. But again, I just want to show you one more time this uh, post route. And of course, you can check down to your drags. Everything's open here. If you wait on this, you can actually throw it right over into this area right here. So this play is really, really, really good against every zone in the game. Now, I want to show you the mid read real quick and talk a little bit about why um, this is still a good play, even if they are using a mid read. First of all, most people don't use mid reads because mid reads, they, they typically use are the mid read. Um, so they have to make a decision. Are you going to guard the tight end or are you going to guard this post? You'll see right here, the actual mid read doesn't actually play it. In fact, the deep blue will actually play better than the mid read in this specific situation. It's because it's coming from the solo side as opposed to coming from the bunch side. Now I want to go over the rest of our progressions on the play, but I do want to show this against man to man real quick and show you that this post route, when you put a streak on the field, it literally beats everything in the game, including man coverage. Now, when we see man coverage on the field, we want to be a little bit more aware of when to throw it. But basically, whenever he cuts to the inside, we're going to have inside leverage. And you can throw this ball with a lot of confidence. You don't even need route tech. You don't need anything on this. Now, if you want to put a route running ability on it, short out of lead, I think, is the most consistent. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. So if they use her, basically they're going to have to use her deep attack, and that is what makes deep attack so good. At some point, this post is going to come open, and if you have a good receiver there, it's going to be a really effective route. I recommend Calvin Johnson there with either route tech or deep out elite, really good receiver for this offense. So again, like I said, they're going to have to, like, it's just obvious, they're going to have to use her that post route and so what that's going to do is it's going to leave little vulnerabilities underneath for our slant and for our drag you see here i can throw my drag right there if they go to the post early i can throw that drag now chances are they're going to like lurk the drag early and then they're going to rotate back um to this post and so when they do that your drag's not exactly going to be open but it does require them to have really good coverage on the field so what you're going to see here is my slant route, I can check down to it right there. Now, I can check down to it right there, especially if they're not putting any, like if they're sitting pressure. Because if they're sitting pressure, there's literally just not enough defenders on the field for them to be able to put everything where they need to put it. So first and foremost, I can check down to my slant right there. Um, another thing that I can do though, is I can wait on this slant a little bit longer 
and they're going to be all the way on the right side of the field by this point. And now I can hit the slant coming across because by this point, the tight end has cleared out all of the zones on the right side. Now, when we talk about man coverage and how to beat man coverage, I really recommend the short and elite ability for beating man, especially if you're a bunch player. I think short and elite is the best ability for consistently beating man coverage. But you can throw this tight end drag. Um, this tight end drag's okay in regs. It's really good in mutt when you have short and elite on that player. So you want to have short and elite, ideally. Uh, we don't have that in this example. But if you had short and elite, um, you, would, you would see a significant improvement in this route particularly. Okay. But the next route we're going to show you against man, obviously we showed you that our post uh, route is going to work. And then lastly, our slant route is going to be a great read for us. So what you'll see here is he's going to cross the face of man coverage and be able to beat it consistently over the middle of the field. Deep attack provides you the ability to literally beat every single defense in the game. And if you're smart, you'll be able to run this play combined with some of the other really powerful plays in the Gun Bunch offense out of the West Coast playbook. Now, if you want to learn the rest of the offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And like I said in the beginning, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We have four ebooks on the bunch offense alone. We have Steelers, uh, we have uh, West Coast, Washington, and we have Indianapolis as well as uh, we have another one coming out. I think it's out of, um, oh man, I'm, I'm totally spacing on, oh, Saints. Uh, but 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 make sure you're in the Patreon, guys. I think you're going to get a lot of value out of it. It's only $10. Literally gets you access to everything. All ebooks, all updates, all tips, everything is unlocked by becoming a Patreon member. If you want to sign up for that today, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.